In this video, we're going to talk about how to send an accountant change copy to your accountant. Now, what this process is for is when you maintain your set of books on your QuickBooks desktop file and your accountant needs to either review the file and they need to make changes, whether it be for your monthly bookkeeping, quarterly bookkeeping, or your annual tax return, uh, they can go ahead and make a change on their side and then you can import those changes back into your file. It's a really neat process. Here's how you do this. I'm using, I'm recording this using QuickBooks Desktop Pro. Uh, your, your view might be a little bit different if you have Premiere or a different year, but the steps should be the same or very similar. You could go to File, go to Send Company File, go to Accountant's Copy, and then you have the options for saving a file or send to accountant. If you're going to exchange via thumb drive, you go to Save File, or you can send via the web. So I'm going to click on Send to Accountant. It gives you an information screen through here. You want to read through this, but basically we're going to just, I'm going to go to next. It's going to talk about setting a dividing date. What a dividing date means is that what, whatever date you specify, your accountant can make changes prior to that date, but they cannot make any changes after that date. For simplicity, what's uh, pretty easy to do is I like to use end of last month, and it's going to tell you what that date's going to be. Um, you can also use a different period, whether it be custom two weeks, four weeks ago, but for many accountants, the end of last month is going to be sufficient. Check with your accountant, see what they like. Click on next. Okay, on the next screen, this is where you're going to put in your accountant's email address and so that they can actually receive the copy via the web. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my email address here. Ask your accountant to where they want you to send it. Your name is going to go here so they can know who it's actually from. And then you're gonna put your email address here in this area. We're gonna click on Next. And you have to create a file transfer um, password. And this is for security reasons. And this is, they're pretty particular. They want you to have basically a secure password. So it may take you a few shots. Here's the options that you have to have over here. So I'm gonna put one in. And let's see if it takes it. And you want to write that password down, by the way. Um, it's going to go ahead and, and now send the file. You want to write that password down and provide that to your accountant because without it, they cannot access your file. So right now, what it's doing is it's sending the file online over the web um, to your accountant, and they're going to get a message where they can download the file. But that's where that password is very important because without the password, they cannot get into it. So there you have it. That's how you send your file to your accountant. If you have any questions, let me know.